This is the first new producing U.S. silver mine in quite a while, isn't it? It is, yes. As a matter of fact, I don't know when the last one was, but not in recent memory. It's been a while. So we're we're the first, and uh, you know that's that's a big deal. We're in a tier one jurisdiction. Both of our assets that we've got, we've got the Shafter mine in Texas, good jurisdiction uh, in, in the United States. And of course, uh, that one is fully permitted as well. When it comes to mining stocks, precious metals, and cryptos, you need to go to Mining Stock Wealth. And welcome, this is Kerry Lutz, and you are watching Mining Stock Wealth. Today, it's a time for an update on Arcana Silver and uh, good sponsor who is is just getting their mind up and running in Colorado. Uh, CEO and President uh, Kevin Drover is with us now. Kevin, uh, congratulations are in order. Well, oh, thank you, Kerry. Good to be here with you. But uh, yeah, we've uh, we've kicked off uh, the processing plant and uh, getting ourselves uh, starting to get ourselves up to speed. Hey, so I know this has been all consuming to you for for months now. I mean, you have taken out all the stops. Uh, it's kind of one of those things when you're goal focused, you just uh, you just do whatever you have to do to get things done. Yeah, you know, I, it, it's a short uh, time frame to get all of this done. When you consider, you know, we we really made a production decision in uh, uh, middle of December, which is really January, and we had to go out and hire everybody, buy everything, and uh, get all that work done uh, to get ourselves in a position to get up to speed. So yeah, it's pretty been pretty intense to say the least. But you know, the fruits of our labor is starting to uh, show right now. Hey, and that's a great thing. So this is the first new producing U.S. silver mine in quite a while, isn't it? It is, yes. As a matter of fact, I don't know when the last one was, but not in recent memory. Uh, yeah, I've uh, I've tried to research that out. I can't find a date. That's how long ago it is. Yeah, it's been a while. So we're we're the first, and uh, you know that's that's a big deal. We're in a tier one jurisdiction. Both of our assets that we've got, we've got the Shafter mine in Texas, good jurisdiction uh, in the, in the United States, and of course uh, that one is fully permitted as well. So we're going to look uh, once we get this one settled down, we're going to start to take a real good look at uh, at Shafter as well. All right. So just to tell us basically review what is coming up in the next three months. Well, you know, obviously we're uh, we're really focused right now. We've initiated the commissioning with uh, with uh, ore through the mill. Uh, that is the uh, primary uh, job right in front of us now is to get ourselves up to full production. And uh, that's going to take us a little bit. We're looking at through September being probably at about a half production, about 130 tons a day in that range, uh, ramping up to 270, which is our... Uh, boilerplate as per our feasibility study. The mill, of course, that we have is a 500 ton a day uh, capacity. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we'll get ourselves settled down through the rest of this year. Uh, in 2022, we'll start to look towards increasing from that 270 tons a day up to 400 tons a day. And in 2023, we'd intend to be up another 100 tons a day to get us to that 500. Now, what that means for us as a company, of course, is that uh, at 270 tons a day, we're looking at about a three and a half million ounce uh, per producer. That extra 100 tons gets us up another million ounces to four and a half, and that uh, uh, all the way to 500 will get us to five and a half to six million ounces a year. Then we bring on the Shafter project, uh, Shafter is looking like, you know, possibly uh, after we get a feasibility study done in 2022, uh, we'd be in a, pr a position to make a, a, a production decision, assuming that it's a positive feasibility and be in production in 2023. And that would add about a two and a half to three million ounces. And that puts us right in that mid tier producer sweet spot is where we want to be. And of course, uh, you know, we, uh, the, the Revenue Virginia's mine, uh, right now on our books, I mean, we basically got a seven year mine life 
But uh, really and truly down there, the exploration potential is so huge. Uh, this, this mine will run for decades uh, to come in the future. So I think the future looks really bright for us. And, the, and you also have acquisition potential, uh, another uh, nearby project? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, consolidating this area that we're in right here uh, is uh, one of the goals that we have. And, uh, you know, we've been in discussions with a number of uh, groups that are here, and uh, uh, we've not really been in much of a position to really do anything up to this point in time because we need to get ourselves cash flowing and in production. Uh, but uh, I think we've got willing sellers and, uh, you know, willing buyers. So it's a matter of just coming to... Uh, uh, to a reasonable uh, uh, price on some of these, but uh, we're hopeful that we can consolidate the area sometime in the near future. Uh, that's that's really exciting. And so, cash flow uh, when you're anticipating, you know, can't pin you down to an exact date. Although it'd be nice if we could. But what's your <laughs> best guess? Yeah, best guess right now. Well, we originally, you know, we're about a month behind coming into the commissioning. Uh, we we had a, a bit of a slow start up on our eighteen hundred level, getting those scopes in because of the the congestion in in the particular area. Uh, no real problems, just not as efficient as we would have liked it. So uh, we don't expect to be a uh, cash flow positive in September, but we do expect to be cash flow positive in October as we ramp up uh, and get the bugs out of the uh, the plant itself, get our metallurgy set. Uh, get to full production in October at the 270 tons a day, and that's going to be at the the high grade ore. Uh, so we're we're anticipating that we should be uh, late October. We we should be hitting our stride. And as far as uh, cost of production here, um, I know we're in an inflationary environment. They had to have gone up somewhat. But what are you expecting the cost per per ounce to be now? You know, we we're, we're, have seen those inflationary uh, um, uh, uh, things in, in the system, uh, labor, uh, timber, steel. Uh, th those are things that we use a lot of. Um, you know, we, we always thought on a pure silver basis, we'd be about eight bucks an ounce. Uh, but with those inflationary pressures, we're closer to 10. And in during this startup period and into the rest of the year, you know, we're we're we're, we're probably going to be in that 10 to 12 dollar per ounce range uh as uh, you know we ramp up to full production the first thing we'll do is make sure we'll get our material handling we're able to get our flow of ore through the mill we'll then be focusing uh, you know uh, on the metallurgy getting that sorted out and then the last thing we're going to be focusing on is getting our costs down so but during that period you know uh, of the of that ramp up and getting the plant settled down we expect to be a little bit higher but uh, we would also expect to see that to come down closer to that ten dollar an ounce range all in cost yeah, you'd expect to see costs go up in the initial phases anyway and then you bring in some economies of scale Cost exactly. uh, should flatten out. Hey, so you hedged at uh, you did a partial hedge at twenty five dollars per ounce. Uh, you know, looks it's looking like it was a pretty good move now. Yeah, actually, we were. I think the hedge was a little bit lower than that, closer to twenty four, I believe it was, uh, but still, still very good. As a matter of fact, yeah, and that's about twenty nine percent of our total production. So you know, we've got uh, seventy one percent of our production that is unhedged and. Uh, uh, you know, with a, uh, I, I think a lot of people, and certainly I believe that we're going to see a, uh, a bump in the silver price in the not too distant future here. So we want to be able to take advantage of that as well. And the 29% uh, that we do have hedge covers the downside, uh, if there should be any, uh, in the repayment of that $28 million debt facility that we have. Speaking of which, uh, when do you think that will be paid down the debt facility? Uh, well, uh, we, we've had one year of grace period that ends now on uh, the middle of December. We've been paying interest quarterly uh, on that. Uh, the initial interest rate is 14% plus LIBOR, and that's in place until we reach uh, three consecutive months of uh, 400 tons per month of lead concentrate, which we think we can uh, you know, do by uh, certainly January that we should be able, and then it drops down to ten and a half percent, and that's uh, you know that's a lot of money. But with the cash flow that we anticipate coming out in 2022, 
uh, you know, we're, we're going to have some choices that we'll, we'll want to make. We want to pay down the debt. We also want to do some exploration. Uh, you know, we also uh, will be looking toward putting uh, Shafter back into production. So uh, as a board, uh, we'll have to, uh, you know, see those competing needs and make a decision. And uh, so we'll, we'll see how the, uh, the cash flow actually gets uh, uh, spent in the, uh, in the coming year or so. It's really an allocation of capital. Uh, it really is, yeah. yeah. If the cash flow is really uh, zooming up, then uh, it makes more sense to pay down the debt. But if uh, you can open Shafter and get that going, then you know, I guess uh, I guess you've got uh, some decisions ahead. Hey, any hurdles you're seeing here? Uh, any? I'm, I'm sure, like everything is always always takes longer than you think. And everything is always more difficult than you think, but you think you're over most of the hurdles uh, to production. I, I think we are. You know, um, we've gotten uh, the, the mill was the last big hurdle. Get get that uh, done. And in the mill, you know, unfortunately, in the crusher area, we couldn't do anything in parallel. We had to do everything sequentially. So you put in one piece of equipment, then you had to you know get that done, and then do the next one and the next one. That took longer. Uh, so right now, you know, where uh, the road is open in front of us, so we're, we're commissioning the mill. There's no big expenditures. Uh, the, the, the worst, I think, uh, thing is of course, uh, now that we're fully staffed is we need to get to full production because, you, you know, the burn rate, uh, just keeps going with that many people and whatnot on the payroll. So it's really important for us to get ourselves up to full production. So that's our focus right now is to get, uh, you know, get to that positive cash flow in October. Hey, what's the ore grade looking like now that you've uh, gotten the metallurgy done on the, uh, on, on the initial production? Yeah, we got up on that 1800 level. We of course have a model and, and uh, a geologic model with the drilling that we have done. And we have expectations in certain areas of that 1800 uh, level that we're first mining. And that level, uh, don't forget, is about 1,500 feet long. So it's, 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 it's quite a length. But in the area where we first started to open uh, this area up, uh, we're, we, of course, we're sampling every six feet uh, and we're sending those assays out, uh, uh, samples out for assay. But they're very, very slow coming back as uh, uh, most of the assay labs are having issues these days with getting chemicals to complete the uh, precious metal. So it's slow. But what we've seen, uh, and we, we just put this in our press release yesterday when we, or yeah, I think it was yesterday we put it out. Um, in the area where we were expecting about 26, 27 ounces per ton over that 78 feet, we're seeing 54 ounces per ton, undiluted, mind you. But even diluted, uh, that 54 comes out at about 34 ounces per ton. And the area that, uh, that that was taken from is 15 feet below the stope that we're actually going to be mining. So that gives us a lot of confidence that our grades are going to be there in the stope when we get up to mining them. Right now, we're using development ore to start the mill, uh, but pretty soon we're going to be uh, mining that, uh, that stope ore, which is going to be uh, you know, at, at our grade uh, that, that we're predicting or higher. So we're really pleased right now to see that the grade is coming in higher than predicted in the model, albeit it's a small uh, snapshot, but it does bode well, I think. And what we see along that level, and we've got it opened up for several hundred feet, uh, we see a very strong vein, uh, very good mineralization. So we're expecting this to continue uh, you know, as we develop this, uh, this particular area. Yeah. So some of the numbers you just gave us could be quite conservative based on the higher grade that you're seeing initially. Obviously we don't know for sure how far that's going to run, how deep and on the other stopes, if it's going to carry through, but if it does, we could be seeing, uh, seeing added production here. Yeah, for sure. Well, this area of the uh, of the, um, the 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 Mahogany Hill claim where we're mining is in fact the low grade area. Uh, there, there's we had to go in in that particular area, but uh, you know we we anticipate our grades to be much higher as we go up toward the fifteen hundred level. So uh, stay tuned. I guess uh, you know as we mine this, we'll report our grades and uh, 
and uh, let everybody know uh, how we're doing there. Well, that's very exciting, Kevin. Uh, really appreciate you coming on. I know you're busy and you've got, uh, you know, up to your elbows and alligators, but, uh, but it's good that you could give us this update. If you want to find out more, just go to arcana.com. That's A-U-R-C-A-N-A.com. And if uh, you want to take a look at the stock, the ticker symbol, well, in the, uh, in the U.S., uh, it is A-U-N-F-F. And, of course, in Canada, it's A-U-N. Kevin, we'll be checking in with you. It's got to be really exciting times for you, exciting for us as investors. Uh, we own shares in Arcana. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. And let's see that production continue to go up, the costs flatten out, and the share price hopefully will respond accordingly. Thank you, Kerry. We look forward to the future for sure. Mining Stock Wealth.